Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is a little introduction video to the 2D system series. Uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what we're going to cover. Um, we're going to be covering the new native 2D system that's in Unity. I think it was added in 4.3. Uh, it's been fleshed out and updated a lot recently, so uh, we're going to cover all the new features that have come along and how it works, Sprite Editor, uh, Box Duty implementation physics and stuff like that. Specifically physics, we're going to do a uh, uh, 2D physics-based motorcycle rig and go over all that stuff. So a couple of things to note is that uh, we're not using the 3D physics system that's in Unity anymore with this with this 2D stuff. They've added uh, Box 2D and um, done their own implementation of that in Unity. And that's basically what we're using. So if you have scripts or actions that work with the 3D physics, uh, they don't work on the 2D stuff. It's just not going to work anymore. It's totally different components. Uh, for 3D, there was a rigid body. For 2D, there's a rigid body 2D. Uh, for the joints, there's uh, almost all the joints are cloned over to a 2D system. So for uh, a regular 3D physics joint, like a hinge joint, they now have a hinge joint 2D. So we have actions for all this stuff and supported it. So uh, we'll go over how to use that. Um, the depth uh, visibility occlusion is handled by sorting layers. So it's not necessary like we used to pull things forward and backwards in the Z axis on this to get uh, depth and use orthographic cameras and there was parallaxing troubles and all these woes that everyone had traditionally but a lot of that's just gone away now uh, with the sorting layers you just specify which uh, layers on are in front of others and uh, you can name them so it's real simple like all your landscape you can just put it on the middle layer and then your foreground that includes everything can be on the foreground layer and then the background layer is going to be the last one so you can set all up real easy with sorting layers. No need to even change anything in the in the Z axis unless you want parallaxing. Uh, parallaxing is basically built in. Um, you just move things in the Z axis forward and backwards, and it uh, just happens. It's very nice, easy to use. Um, you can learn a lot about this new stuff from the Unity Learn portion of the website. So if you go to the Learn you're on the main page of Unity, just go to Learn and then uh, Tutorials. And 2D is right here. Highly recommend going through all these. Um, they cover all of the basics and explain pretty much everything. Uh, so you, I would definitely recommend going over these and just getting a good idea of how things work. It's going to make things clearer for you. If you spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes doing this, you're going to just move a lot faster and be a lot more comfortable in the environment. Whereas if you just jumped in like this on this tutorial and, and didn't understand where we were, what we were talking about and how things work, you wouldn't be as swift with it. So highly recommend going through these first. Okay. So that uh, covers the introduction. Let's get into looking into the Sprite Editor in the next video.